All of us have a responsibility, including Geopolymer Solutions, to make continuous changes to improve our carbon footprint. Currently, as compared to Portland Cement, our carbon footprint is about 93% lower than Portland Cement, which, which is profound. The Portland Cement industry really has a responsibility to be honest with the industry, with the community, with the globe, relative to the durability of Portland Cement and its carbon footprint. It's better to avoid the production of carbon whatsoever, rather than try to fix the flaws of Portland Cement. The only main competition that Geopolymer Solutions has is the Portland cement industry. To compare the two, to be quite frank with you, would be unfair for Portland cement. The quality benefits of cold fusion concrete, our form of geopolymer, are so many that it would be difficult to present them in a short fashion during this interview. The Portland cement industry has been around for a long, long time. There's a lot of creative, uh, smart people who have invested their lives in furthering Portland cement. The industry surrounding Portland cement is one of the largest industries on the face of the earth. Portland cement itself is the second used material behind water on the planet. Made by putting limestone, uh, silicone dioxide rich material inside a big kiln, heating it to from 23 to 2700 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, creating a clinker and then grinding this clinker back with uh, calcium sulfate and producing Portland cement. Our process includes purchasing various constituents from our vendors, blending those in a big mixer without any calcination, putting those in a bag and delivering those to our clients. Geopolymers are inorganic silica aluminates. Uh, unlike Portland cement that is a calcium-based chemistry, geopolymers, uh, at least ours, cold fusion concrete, is a silicone dioxide or glassy chemistry. It's perceived as a new material in the industry, despite the fact that the Romans, the Egyptians, the Hindus used a rudimentary form of geopolymers. And geopolymers have been offered commercially, at least with our company, since 2015. So they're not new to the industry, uh, but they're perceived as new, possibly as a reason not to switch from Portland cement. The positive things about going with a cold fusion concrete is it's used just like Portland cement. It's a water mixed chemistry, unlike other geopolymers that include dangerous chemicals like sodium hydroxide and liquid silicates. Ours is a water mix material, so it's used the same way as Portland cement. For the Portland cement industry, it would be a huge challenge due to the fact that their concrete is a calcium-based chemistry. Our concrete is a glassy one. When you think of glass, when you look at glass, 4,000 years from now, 8,000 years from now, that same glass is going to still be there. And the reason being is because majority of it, the main composition of it is silica dioxide, SiO2. It's about 70% SiO2. Well, guess what? So is our cold fusion concrete. So in the same way, our concrete is gonna last four or 5,000 years from now as well. Geopolymer Solutions uses cold fusion concrete technology to produce any and all products in the Portland cement industry. These products include concrete, stucco, coating, self-leveling and fireproofing. The quality of these benefits is represented well in the FP250 fireproofing, which has undergone the most stringent light, safety, corrosion inhibition and durability tests available on the planet. Geopolymer's FP250 has many advantages over the current industrial semi-titious products. Four of these main Advantages are the fact that it can be done in a single lift application versus the competitor's products that most of them, and many of them, have to be done in multiple lifts, meaning that it could take two, three days to achieve the full thickness where the FP250 could be installed in a single day, single lift application. The other advantage is that it does not require any mechanical attachments like the competitors. Geopolymer's FP250 chemically bonds directly to the structural steel, reducing the man hours required for the installation, which reduces the safety exposure hours for the fireproofing applicators. The other advantages are it does not require a primer 
to prevent corrosion. Part of the chemical makeup of the FP250 has a corrosion inhibitor built in to help aid in future corrosion issues. The quality control is at a very high standard. We have really good relations with Underwriters Laboratories. We have our own furnace where we can burn specimens before we go up to Underwriters Laboratories. And we just have a group of experienced guys who really know how to toll blend our mixtures. They have to be spot on. Very, very high quality. They start out in the laboratory for testing, then it comes into production, and then we test it again before it goes out the door. And then we ensure that our field guys will make them very, very successful when they're applying it and learning our material because they're completely different from the industry standard. So the customer will be very happy. Our materials, the components that we use in soil stabilization, give us a pretty high PSI, and we can stabilize soils when other competitors can. With the increased population comes the need for power, comes the need for metals, comes the need for all kinds of lithium, for, for batteries in cars. All of these products produce waste. Cold Fusion Concrete uses all of these wastes in the concrete. Not only are the products that we produce of elevated quality as compared to Portland cement concrete, but they use all these industrial wastes. A really good uh, example is red mud, which is the residue from the Bayer process of extracting alumina from bauxite. There are billions of tons of red mud spread throughout the world. In big impoundments, there's no resolution as to its use. So all this property, these tens of thousands of acres are condemned unless it's used. If you were to look on Cougar Earth today and you were to see large red spots, that's red mud, okay? And, and it's, really, it's really easy to notice. Say if it's around the rivers or the oceans, if a hurricane comes and hits that plant, don't you think it's gonna carry some of that red mud with it? and it's gonna lead into the ocean. So now, not only do we have an issue with our drinking waters, hey, we also have an issue now with the aquatic life. Red mud is beneficial in our technology. It, uh, it doesn't reduce the strength, it doesn't reduce the longevity, it actually enhances the technical characteristics of our material. So we use waste from all kinds of products. People drive electric cars and think they're being very, very green, but they don't see the waste involved or created from lithium. We use that waste in the process of producing concrete and the examples of the waste that we use are endless. The concrete industry has a grave responsibility uh, protecting the climate. I'm not a climate scientist. Uh, it's, it's a given, however, that carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas, being it's heavier than air, so it collects in the bottom of the atmosphere and absorbs heat. The temperature of the earth goes up. As far as the carbon dioxide sequestration, there's two techniques that we go about doing that. Is first one is the dissolution of iron oxide present in the red mud, and then react that with CO2. The second technique would be to react CO2 with a high calcium content slag or fly ash. The hesitation to using cold fusion concrete or other alternate cementitious materials is it's the way we've always done it. Portland cement concrete is simply the way we've always done it. Protecting that industry is important to academia to the Portland cement industry itself, to the concrete finishers, to the people who supply pumps, to all kinds of different industries. With cold fusion concrete, because it's a water mix material, we're really not trying to change the entire industry. We're just trying to change the quality of the concrete that's used in our infrastructure and trying to reduce the carbon footprint.